Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about a missing dog that was finally found 500 feet underground in an intricate cave system. We have more details. Please continue to watch this video. When teacher and recreational caver Rick Haley set out to help map a cave on August 6th, he had no idea he would end up staging a rescue mission, let alone re reuniting a lost dog with her owner. Haley, along with a team of 30 people, were mapping a cave north of Perryville, Missouri as a part of project for the Cave Research Foundation. The cave is part of the Rome Moore Cave System, Missouri's second largest cave system measuring around 22 miles. Haley, who was involved in logistics and managing problems on the expedition, exited the cave to find another caver and an assistant fire chief from the local fire department. Glad you are here, the fire chief told Haley. You can help us save a dog today. Another group of parents and children were visiting the cave for the day and had encountered a dog deep down in the cave before flagging Haley for help. Haley and fellow caver Jerry Keen, both of whom have specialized cave rescue training, had to crawl and squeeze the dog through tight pathways to get to the dog. The dog was in poor shape. Uh, she didn't seem to have any injuries, but boy, she was really malnourished. Uh, she was uh, skin and bone. She had mud on her. She lost, uh, the lost canine was lethargic and reluctant to walk. He placed a blanket in a duffel bag and she stepped in, allowing them to carefully maneuver her out of the game. The rescue mission took over an hour, according to Haley. Although the rescue training does not cover dog rescue, he explained that many of the same principles that you would use for a person, you can use for a dog, like keeping them warm and dry and being careful of any injuries. The dog was in bad shape, said Haley, but once she was out of the cave, her spirits perked up a bit. One member of their caving team canvassed the neighborhood with a photo of the dog in the neighboring uh, in the cave before identifying her owner, who was astonished to see the dog. According to Haley, the owner said 13-year-old Abby had been missing since June 9th, meaning that she would have been in the cave for almost two months. Haley said that it is still not clear how the dog ended up so far in the cave. She may have been chasing an animal like a moose or a raccoon, and he speculated that flooding in the cave caused by heavy dense may have brought her deeper into the cave system. It's a good feeling to participate in rescue, said Haley. He also credited the work of the team of cavers working with Cave Research Foundation. I happened to one of the only few people on the surface at the time that the rescue needed to happen. But if there had been like 30 of those cavers here, you would have found 30 people facilitating the rescue. So that's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch this place for more informative news. Thanks for watching us.